dun, 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 We're good. Dun. We're live. I know. And the level's good. Somehow. Damn, none of y'all are Gen Z, huh? None of us I are Gen Z. I know you are. <laughs> We're the only ones making eye contact. Literally all of us here, except for Juan. Me, except no for my way. old ass. What? We're all the same age. Well, are you are younger you? than How Juan? Are you? No, I knew you were younger than Juan. Oh, yeah, 23. I'm yeah. I'm, you're 23? 23. We're all 23. Why did I think you were older than me? Yeah, I thought you're so twenty three too. I'm I, turned I have no this concept year. for people's ages ever. One time, one of my coworkers was like, "I'm forty two. and I was like, "I don't know what that means." Who's forty <laughs> two? No one's forty two. That's not a real age. What's gonna happen when you're forty two? I'm not gonna make it to forty two. <laughs> That's what I say all the time. I've said that, that so. Ma- I've said that so question. many times. I've said that so many times. Baby, I made it through eighteen, and that should be a victory in and of its own. Let's not. I let's say not that so many it. times. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck fifty looks like. That I'm not gonna make it there. George Clooney. But also, if like. I do make but it yeah, to forty two, I do call fifty. I'm gonna Clooney be like though. Samantha from Sex in the City. Which one's that one? I just have money and I just go around. I just fuck around. That's mm, it. Is that the cool one in Sex in the City? In the, Sex in yeah. the City. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one that uh. That's the only likable character. Yeah. Absolutely. Which yeah, is yeah. iconic. Yeah. It, which is ironic because she's not supposed to be like. She is the now hero. the mother in How I Met Your uh, Father. Oh, yeah. She's, she's the, mother. the mom. She's Sophie. Oh. In How I Met Your she's Father. She's the mom. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was my favorite. She's the one that's got beef with Sarah it, Jessica Parker right now. Mad. Why, why do crazy. they got beef? Because apparently Sarah Jessica Parker is like, like a bitch. I don't know. She's she just, looks I don't like know. a they bitch. Have some, they like have she's some like like very like dramatic. And like she looks like a bitch. She looks stuff. like her character on Sex and the City. Sarah Jessica yeah. Parker does not look like a bitch. Yes, she, she does. She is a Libra. And nah, so don't start. I'm going to start, start with that bullshit. Listen, if you're going to do this every fucking episode, I'm just going to bring it up to piss you off. So just like relax and go with the flow. You know what I mean? The thing about Sarah Jessica Parker is that she looks really nice, but also I can see her being real fake. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to oh, believe that. Maybe that's what I mean. I don't want to believe that. Because she seems really nice. Maybe that's what I mean. She seems fake. But. Which to me is bitchy. What the hell do I know? Well, I like How I Met Your, the how I met your Father Mother thing. Uh-huh. She's badass. Yeah, I know. She's, started, she's like with a glass of wine and yeah. shit. She's FaceTime. Did yeah. you see the episodes? No. How you, many are out? There's two episodes two. out right yeah. now. Okay. Which no, is so fucking started. annoying. You know I didn't watch How I Met Your Mother. You try to make me watch that. I just can never it's get so into good. it. It's so good. It wasn't. I'm sorry. It really I was. did not like it. Like, I did not. I was like, uh, like, sure. Like, if it's on the TV, I'm not going to be like super upset. But I was like, this is, I'm not laughing. <sighs> I realized so many things whenever I was watching How I Met Your Mother. And the f- first one is that I really don't like protagonists. I really don't like protagonist characters in almost everything. Well, also, Ted just fucking sucks. That's like, what I'm he's saying. He's an Ted, awful character. But like, Ted, I don't like Ted. I don't like Harry Potter. I don't like... That's like ins- what? Why? What if Harry Potter ever fucking He's just a you? horrible character. He's, he's so I wasn't like... I wasn't really into Harry Potter. I don't know what... Yeah, well, he, he's just like, mo- because protagonists have to follow an archetype of like what it means to be like the good guy. Sure. And that's so fucking annoying because they never stray away from that. And they make it, they, all, all their characters, all those characters are so one dimensional that they're so hard to follow. And the only purpose that they serve in the story is to carry the story from p- point A to point B. But every character around them ends up being much more complicated, much more nuanced, and much more likable than the person that you're supposed to follow through. So how do you get through any show? The side characters are fucking dope. That's oh. why How I Met Your Mother is so great because Barney's great, Robin is great. Barney is really good though. If I watch, if I watch any episode, it's just to see Neil Patrick Harris. That man is like the right? way that he convinced me that he was straight. That's insane. Yeah, I didn't know he was gay until like <laughs> oh, maybe season four, season five. But every he has like two beautiful kids. They're twins. They're really cute. Um, I've seen the I've the seen the Halloween he plays, pictures. He always plays like straight characters, mm-hmm. and he does it so fucking well. He was in the Matrix in the new Matrix. He's like the Gen X fucking, what's his name? Jonathan Groff. And he's aging like fucking wine out here. Amazing. That's how white people age when they're not problematic. Look at us. (laughs) I love that. Look at us realizing things here. That is how white people age. That is a common thing. People say that a lot. About about white people? Yeah. I don't think it's not about white people. Look at like Sandra Bullock. Oh yeah, um, Neil Patrick Harris. There's more people, but you know what I mean. Like, look at the people Clooney. that are not problematic. They age divinely. I'm gonna remember that forever. Yeah. What you think you can be cute and racist? That's not a thing. 
Are there cute racists out there? No way. I'm sure I can find one. I'm sure you cannot. I'm sure I, you can find one cute racist. Abs- I, I can guarantee you cannot. You ever met a racist that didn't have a receding hairline? Because I, d- I haven't. To be honest, I don't know that many racists. Good for you. Like in my, it, like personally, I don't know that many racists. Good I know you. of racists. But yeah, like if you like see I know like people that I know media, are racist. Like if you come across a video and you're like, damn, this bitch is fucking racist. They're never cute. What's her name? What's that? What's that? Uh, F- Fox pundit or like that 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 conservative pundit that says like borderline racist shit just because she's a anyone she's, on she, Fox News. She's a, she's a millennial. She's a Tammy. Oh, Ta- Tammy, Tommy, Lauren. Tommy, 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 Tommy Lauren. Lauren. She's look, cute. No, look. She's first of all, cute. anybody who's she, named no, Tommy, she's not. She, no. She's not receding hairline ugly. No, but she's she could pass. Isn't anyway. she dating like some NFL player? Probably. Well, he's probably yeah, she's with not ugly. Eyes. She's not an ugly person. And she's borderline racist. I mean, she probably says it on no, purpose. No, but you just to hear get her that. speak ugly. Oh yeah. No, but d- does like voice does voice have have to do with the way you look? One hundred percent. Yeah. When you look at a picture, you're like, yo, I can't decide if this person's cute or not until I if hear their voice. I oh, absolutely. If I'm man. around somebody, one hundred percent. Fuck it. I'm calling. Bu- I'm calling BS. One, Never have I looked that. at a picture and been like, yo, she's really hot. But until I hear her speak, I'm not gonna. I'm a reserve no, judgment. No, but like, what if the she fuck? speaks and it's weird, you're gonna be like. I'm just gonna say don't, I don't talk. Know if I want to fuck her anymore. Like if she opens her mouth and her voice is just like not it, you're gonna be like, is that shallow? Uh, am I gonna be able to look past this? No, I don't understand this. Like if you don't like something about someone, like that's that. I mean, maybe it is shallow, but like, what are you gonna do? Cry about it? Like that's what it is. People don't like certain things. I, I have I have this thing where I where I say at like at the very beginning, if you don't know anybody, if like if you don't know this person, if you don't know like them personally. And you're just like walking in a room and you're supposed to like make up your mind about them that you're allowed to be as shallow as you want. Sure. I also think when people are like racists aren't cute, like it's just like if you're racist, you like that's already not cute. You know what I right. mean? Right. I it's understand like, the sentiment that like ra- that you being a bigot. And also like is Tommy Lauren is, is just like the poster child for like beauty standards. Like she's just blonde with blue eyes and like tiny. You know what I mean? It's like. I'm not saying like she's physically ugly, but it's also like sure you're that. Also, you're racist, right? So I'm still not convinced that she's actually. Racist. I think she's secretly a progressive, but she just makes a lot of money being a conservative. Probably. Like, I think she secretly votes blue. I don't think so. No, I, I don't think, think she I, secretly, I think she votes, secretly blue. votes blue for sure. For sure, I'm willing to bet that if the right person comes along in the right in the right marketplace and her and her and her fan base starts to shift and there's enough money coming in, if she decides to like. Uh, if she if she changes her viewpoints a little bit, she will in a minute. Flip. But here's the thing: is that she like maybe I can see that being like a possibility. I don't think it's like impossible. But also like if sh- again like she's like a pretty white girl. If she came out being like Black Lives Matter, people would eat it up. Right. So it's like yeah. she doesn't have to pretend. Like why would you pretend to be like a hateful bitch? Because when you're gonna get money anyway, because conservative media makes more money than liberal media, and, really? and they, and they is can, that a fact? And they can funnel more money into is like that a fact? That actually. They, there's a they, there's a study that says, uh, I'm, uh, don't quote me. Um, it's 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 not <laughs> a study. Don't hold me liable for there's this. been there's been some some interviews out that where people that are in like political punditry mm-hmm. that they go to like conventions and mm-hmm. they'll talk to liberal pundits mm-hmm. and the liberal pundits are like, yeah, I, I believe what I believe. And they, they, and they talk about it like all the time. Yeah. And then conservative pundits are like, all right, work is done. Let's go to the bar. Let's have a real conversation. And conservative pundits don't actually like believe whatever it is that they're saying. I feel like you have to believe it a little bit because if you're again, like if you're gonna, if you're willing to portray yourself as this like awful person just for money, you have to be okay with being that. You oh, know I what think I mean? Th- I think they're perfectly okay with influencing people in that direction, but I I think that they're also perfectly okay with being like I don't have to believe it. I, I I'm gonna do whatever I want anyway. As long as this check is coming in, I can give a fuck. Right, but that's so, what but I'm like, saying. Is like I feel like you still would align with like maybe you won't. You wouldn't be like as passionate about them. Like you wouldn't right. like if you if that wasn't your job, you wouldn't like fight for it as hard. Like you wouldn't keep those stances as like strict as you do. But I feel like if you're willing to 
though like for those values to be like what represents you outside of it then you don't really care that much and that doesn't make you a liberal like oh no no no, no. I'm, I mean? I'm not saying that doesn't make I don't, i'm not saying that they're like true and true li liberals i'm saying that they vote against what they preach i think that in re i i genuinely mm. believe that in reality some of those not ma maybe not all of them but some of those people actually don't believe anything that they say and that and and I like I think Shapiro doesn't believe anything he says. Oh my god! I, I think uh, I think Crowder doesn't believe anything he says. Um, I don't think Crowder really knows what he's saying. I like I think he doesn't understand words. They just come out. <laughs> They're just sounds to him. Um, there is a there's a, a political pundit out somewhere. Um, somewhere. His name is uh, David Pakman. I was gonna say Joe Rogan. <laughs> no, no, no. You cut He's, my joke off. His, no, no, no. no. His, his name is David Pakman. Shout out, shout out to J D David Pakman. What are you doing? He. Um, is Don't a liberal. Shout him out. He he's Block he's a, him. no. I like him. I like David Pakman. He's he's a liberal. He's a liberal pundit. He, as far as like political news is concerned, I probably go to him more than I go anywhere else and any 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 uh like a uh, uh, big media outlet. Mm -hmm. Period. He has a video out yeah. where he says that there was a right wing conservative, uh, like uh, media conglomerate that mm -hmm. went to him and said, "Hey, would you accept? Like, what's the amount of money that you would accept in order to like switch your views on your ch on your channel so that your viewers can start to like hear our 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 things?" And it was like an absurd amount of money that they offered him, like that they handed him, mm -hmm. and he was like, "No, I'm gonna keep doing the things that I." I believe in because that's what I believe in. And, right. and this was before he like popped off, popped off. Um, but when you look at like his viewership versus like the Shapiro viewership versus the Crowder viewership versus the, I don't know, everybody else that's up there, uh, Jones and Beck and like all those people, um, then it's like fucking night and day. The conservative media is like, they eat that shit up and marketing dollars go heavy over there. Mm -hmm. And, and liberal media is just like, no, we're, we're righteous and we're, and we're virtuous and we're, we're college educated and all this <laughs> bullshit. And then it gets them nowhere. But that's another reason why I say that I think a lot of conservative pundits are actually secretly liberal.